Okay, guys, this one here we've got is actually insane, but not shocking at this point with the clown country we all live in. And even more so because free speech on universities has been a myth for a while at this point. Actually, in Scotland, where this story comes from, free speech is dead even inside the home. As most will know, we had the strong Scottish name Justice Minister Hamza Youssef making spicy talk illegal in your own home. But unfortunately, this story here is not about that toss pot there. It is relating to Aberdeen University's union that literally banned a 19-year-old student, Elizabeth Heberin, from attending for two weeks after saying Royal Britannia in a web chat. Because remember guys, being patriotic in university is considered hate speech in this day and age. Especially when some low-life soy latte drinking toss pot complains that you've hurt their poor Fifi's love in your own country. At least Elizabeth here at 19 years old shows there is still hope for the younger generation at university. Not all of them are woke brain dead sheeple taking the Marxist indoctrination that is belt fed to them like a dick and they gobble it up willingly without question. Some of them obviously say bollocks to that. Now, her outlawed patriotism was done during a debate on the British Army in the aftermath of the BLM race baiting bullshit, so I like this girl even more. Not only for loving her country, but doing so during a debate about our armed forces who she was defending. For this, I am sure the SNP has her on the gulag list as such treachery against her dear leader Kim Jong Sturgeon will soon be an arrestable offence. Like I said before, I'm sure I'm banned from Scotland at this point for calling them out as often as I do. But from the reports out on this whole discussion here, it was centred around the British Army being on the campus and recruiting students to join them, something we actually covered last year. But anyway, in this case, it was international students and losers in love with the BLM Marxists who decided to complain about Elizabeth's comments here after screenshotting the web chat itself. Now, it's not like she actually said anything spicy, as she simply said, if the British military makes them feel uncomfortable, why did they come to a British uni? Which is obviously spot on, and in fact says to me that Elizabeth is pretty based. As most of you will know, common sense is not actually that common, and having the sack to use it in university is always painting a target on your back, so she certainly has my respect there. As a matter of fact, I think she is a woman after all of your hearts with this kind of talk here. Loving her country and our soldiers is certainly a way to most of your hearts, I'm sure. But I bet if she sat there singing Ode to Joy or some shit like that, the woke tosspots in that uni would all be loving it. Sticking up for your country in education these days makes you a racist bigot in the eyes of these avocado on toast eating fuck pigs. So Elizabeth Heverin, don't let them break you, they can call you what they like, it doesn't make it true. Loving your country, its history, and our soldiers is not racist or offensive. Literally, only a demented seal would think it is, so be thankful you're not one of them. And oh yeah, Aberdeen University's union, Royal Britannia motherfuckers, never forget it. We're off!